Muchachos, ¿cómo están? Daniel Sicar nuevamente saludándolos desde nuestro canal, trayendo temas muy interesantes para el correcto aprendizaje del idioma inglés, un idioma muy importante, por supuesto, a nivel mundial, y hoy trayéndoles un tema excelente, sí, adverbs of manner, los adverbios, que como hemos repasado en anteriores videos, trabajan en función de los verbos, adjetivos y otros adverbios. So, we're going to work with adverbs of manner, right? The way an action is performed. This is based on level B1. Esto es para el nivel ya B1, algo un poco más a fondo para los adverbios, para el tema de adverbios. So I want you to enjoy it, I want you to have fun, and we will present different images, as we can see here, starting with this one. Ok, entonces vamos a comenzar con mucho ánimo y muy concentrados, trabajando en donde sea que se encuentre. So we have this image right here, no? adverbs of manner. Adverbs or manner explains, as I told you, they explain how an action is performed, how an action happens, okay? Happens. Remember that happens, action happens, it mo the verb must have an S at the end. Why? Because it's third person, guys. If you haven't checked that, right, I want you to review the previous videos. Vemos que si repasen nuestros videos para que tengan claro tercera persona la modificación que ocurre en los verbos. So, adverbs of manner. So, we have thoughts party. Si observan, observamos en la parte de abajo de la imagen, tenemos thought. T for Tom, H for hotel, U for umbrella, D for David, the apostrophe S, which it means the possessive. No? Thoughts party is la fiesta de thought, which is that uh, elephant, no? the blue elephant we have in the window. So it says, dress up for my party, right? Dress up for my party. Bistensen para mi fiesta, right? Dress up for my party. Dressed up is a phrasal verb, right? How do we spell phrasal? P for Patrick. H for hotel, remember to work the spelling, ¿no? Lo que estoy haciendo de deletrar el alfabeto, de deletrar palabras, ¿no? So, phrasal verb, P for Patrick, H for hotel, R for Robert, A for apple, S for Samuel, A for apple, L for Lima. So, that's a phrasal, ¿no? Phrasal verb. Dress up for my party. Vístense para mi fiesta. So, the little little toad or frog over there that we see on the left side of your screens lado izquierdo de sus pantallas probablemente should we dress casually pregunta él should we dress casually should is a modal verb y nos vamos a estar por supuesto viendo próximamente no se desconecten de nuestro canal because we will have that topic okay So, should we dress casually is a question. Es una pregunta, preguntándonos, ¿deberíamos vestirnos casualmente? You see, casually, casually is an adverb of manner. Es en la manera en que él está preguntando si se deberían vestir. Casualmente, deberíamos vestirnos casualmente. Should we dress casually? Esos adverbios entonces los encontramos en red, en rojo. Down there, abajo, tenemos this little monkey, asking, should we dress formally? Deberíamos vestirnos formalmente, right? So formally is another adverb of manner. Es porque está evaluando la manera de esa acción. ¿Cuál acción? El vestirse, right? To get dressed. The little kitty in the upper right side of your upper right side, no? En lado derecho de arriba, upper right side. We have another question, right? Should we dress elegantly? Deberíamos vestirnos elegantemente. You see, is the way they want or they are asking to get dressed. Evalúa la acción que es vestirse. Entonces, elegantemente, we don't know. And down there, should we dress comfortably? Deberíamos vestirnos cómodamente, right? Should we dress comfortably? So those are four examples of four adverbs of manner. So the message, the above adverbs help us how to dress 
for, for third party, for third party. Now, ahora, en la siguiente imagen, como tal, en la siguiente imagen que veremos a continuación, the next image, for this image we have this little map, right? So this little map will help us also to understand how do we just work for this. So we have here adverbs of manner, no? They, can, they may have a form, they can be a form, okay? They can be also a meaning, ¿sí? También pueden ser un significado, they can be also a meaning, or they can be a possession, a position, sorry. They can be a position. So, for example, this little leopard, the leopard, right? Leopard down there, very good, it moves fast, ¿cierto? El leopardo que tenemos en la parte izquierda, it moves fast. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que se mueve rápido, right? Rápido, en este caso, es ese adverbio, ¿no? Because it's working on base of the verb, que es moverse. Moverse rápido, el calificativo es rápido en este sentido. Moves fast for the adverb. It moves slowly. The little snail, snail, caracol, the snail. It moves slowly. See, the snail moves slowly. Slowly is the adverb of manner. Se mueve lentamente, right? How do we spell slowly? No. S for sun, L for Lima, right? O for Oscar. W for whiskey, W for whiskey, right? L for Lima, Y for yellow. Remember, please, guys, to work spelling the alphabet. Always spell the alphabet. They sing beautifully, for example, above the title of adverbs of manner. En esta, arriba del título de adverbs of manner, vemos que dice, los niños están cantando, ¿no? The core is, they sing, or the message is, they sing beautifully. Ellos cantan divinamente, right? They sing beautifully. Beautifully is the adverb of manner. Porque es lo que modifica el verbo. La manera en que ellos cantan es hermosamente, divinamente. So you see, most of the adverbs have, they are an adjective plus ly. Son un adjetivo más lo que es la ly. Careful, que es ser cuidadoso. Carefully, cuidadosamente. Right? So, Read the book carefully, or read the instructions carefully. Lea las instrucciones cuidadosamente, so you don't make mistakes. Sad. They were acting, or they were speaking sadly. Estaban hablando tristemente, right? They were looking at each other sadly. Estaban mirando tristemente. So, sad, el adjetivo. Triste, sadly, the manner, tristemente. Now, for the form, actually, which that's the form, we have also when they end, when the adverb ends with Y, cuando termina en Y, ¿no? You add I-L-Y. Añadimos la I, la L y la Y, right? Happy, right? they are working happily, están trabajando felizmente. They work happily. They work happily, es la manera en la que ellos trabajan, ¿no? felizmente, entonces happy, happily. When they end, when the adjective ends, right, in B, L, E, as we can see in the image, you add, you replace it, you replace it for B for boy, L for Lima, and Y for yellow, okay, B, L, Y. So, probable, probable, Probably, probablemente, right? So, in Spanish, it's like the mente form, right? So, they will probably come, or they will come. So, they will probably come, probablemente vendrán. So, the adverb works based on the verb, que es venir, probablemente. Now, some irregular, irregular adverbs son los que no cambian de forma, de adjetivo adverbio. Entonces, we have here some adjectives. Irregular adverbs, no? An irregular adverbs. Fast is the adjective. And fast is rapidamente también, right? And it stays, it keeps the same form. Mantiene la misma forma. Early, right? In this case, early. Para tempranamente o temprano. Good, right? 
and well. En ese caso sí cambia. You speak English well es la manera correcta. I have heard people saying you speak English good. No. El adjetivo modifica el sustantivo. So, you have a good English, si usted tiene un buen inglés. But if you speak, that's the verb, that's the action. Usted habla inglés bien. You speak English well. So, be careful with those mistakes. So, review, okay? Always repeating, always checking our videos. Now, uh, late is also doesn't change, no? De tarde, or eh, de manera tardía, it doesn't change. That adjective, when you use it as an adverb, okay? Now, they woke up late, for example. Okay, now, then for the meaning, tell us how an action is done. We have some other examples here. He drives carefully. Él maneja cuidadosamente. Ah, no? What you just saw a boat. Lo que vieron ahorita arriba en la, en la imagen. She speaks fast. Ella habla rápido. Sí, ese rápido es la manera en la que ella habla. So that's why it's an adverb of manner. He learns English easily. Él aprende inglés fácilmente, así como ustedes. Like, you guys are learning with us. Easily. We give you the best concepts. And uh, the position, right, is basically this swamped means like the subject, the verb, the object, right? So adverbs are in the M position, manner. So subject, B, no, which for verb, stands for verb, O for the object and the manner, right? So we continue. Ahora en la siguiente imagen, in our next image, vamos a ver también algunos ejemplos. Vamos a estar viendo en esta imagen, nueva imagen, we have here, which is burgundy with white. We have an adverb of manner, right? Is one word, right? Some tips. Usually ends in ly, not always. Because if you analyze friendly, lovely, elderly, or ugly, those are adjectives. Those are not adverbs, okay? Those are not adverbs, so be careful. Describes how someone did the action. Nuevamente, describimos cómo alguien hizo o hace la acción. Here are some examples. It might, say, dick, right? Thoughtfully. Entonces, it might, nos expresa duda, right? So, thoughtfully, in this, in this case, is working based of that doubt, okay? Is the way he thought, pensativamente. Dijo, mm, puede que sí, right? It might, said dick. Thoughtfully. You don't need to say it in. Eagerly. ¿sí? Ansiosamente. Right? Eagerly. Good night. Said Dick. ¿no? D I C K, which is a noun. Sleepily. Good night. Right? Is the way he went to bed. La forma en que se fue a acostar was like, and he said, good night, sleepily. ¿no? Ya dormidamente, ¿no? Con sueño. Very good. George can do anything in the water, okay? George can do anything in the water, said, and admiringly, okay? Admirosamente, admiringly, sorry. Then what are they here for, right? Demanded George, exigió George, right? Firstly, all those are adverbs that are based on the action, okay? Brucker said softly, Brocker dijo suavemente, well now, this changes things, okay, well now, this changes things, okay. You are the one who's in danger now, right, he said grimly. Oh, I'm sure there are a few snakes around, right, said Henry lightly, right, lightly is with attention on that. So guys, uh, we want you to still with us, we want you to just basically continue working and uh, different topics that we want to offer you. I want you to practice this more over and over again to check uh, the meanings if we didn't just fulfill all the meanings. I want you in B1 level, you start getting more contact in conversation. We want to give you, we want to express a little bit more for you guys. So adverbs of manner are very useful cuando trabajan en distintas oraciones. We want you just to review this in family, at home, at work, where you are located. 
So uh, once again, if you need to review the spelling, work on the spelling, for example, thoughtfully, right? T for Tom, H for hotel, O for, you can say, Oscar, right? U for umbrella, G for gold, right? H for hotel, T for Tom, F for Francis, no? Saint Francis, for example, U for umbrella, L for Lima, L for Lima, Y for yellow. Entonces continuaremos trabajando con ustedes en distintos temas, tratando de hacer la mayor cobertura en los distintos temas que manejamos. No olviden suscribirse a nuestro canal, continuar repasando estos temas de gran interés y continuaremos aprendiendo con ustedes día a día este hermoso idioma. Esto fue Daniel Sicario y los veo pronto.